What's up, home chicken? Zach Scott here playing Minecraft, and I'll tell you something. I'm not in Scotland, and I'm not playing the walls, but what I'm doing is I am playing a single-player world that was sent to me by none other than Ruby93W, who is the winner of the most previous contest I had, which was to do a build inspired by Daniel Day-Lewis, and uh, this person has done just that. This is the Daniel Day-Lewis Coaster 3000 for me, there's my channel. Uh, Ruby's channel is Ruby, R-U-B-Y, 93W. There's a link in the description below. Congratulations, you have won a $50 Amazon gift card because you made the best build, in my opinion. Uh, here we go, it's a Daniel Day-Lewis coaster, and I'm gonna show this off for you guys, and I'll be honest, I did not know this much about Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh, this coaster features several, like, uh, features a scene from, like, nearly every one of his films except for, like, TV movies and, like, TV shows and stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to go through the coaster, describe what I see. I took notes. It took me about 15 minutes of solid research before starting this video. <laughs> so, thumbs up for that and thumbs up for a uh, very well, well-crafted build here. We're going to go into the roller coaster. Let's do it. Pick up a cart. Grab one. Go in. And uh, if you want to see the original video, uh, I wasn't able to show off the original video uh, mainly because the frame rate wasn't that good and because it used copyright music, but go check it out. There's a link in the description below. I'm going to get in. Here we go. Now this, I guess we're going to have pauses here. Yeah, okay. This is a scene from Sunday, Bloody Sunday, where Daniel Day-Lewis played a child vandal. He went uncredited. This was in 1971. So, let's just take the full ride here this is a scene from gandhi daniel day lewis played colin in 1982 and this is a scene from there this is like a theme park a daniel day lewis theme park this is a scene from the bounty where daniel day lewis played john fryer in 1984 well we're done with that one and this one my beautiful laundrette he played johnny in 1985 day cleaners this is a scene from the movie. I guess that's the day cleaners right there. We are going super slow through this part. Oh my god, I guess you really wanted me to take this in. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'll just say, I haven't seen any of these movies so far. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I am a, I really respect, I, I hate to say that I'm a huge fan because I'm apparently, I'm, I'm not if I don't know everything here. Let's just, uh, what the heck? Okay, let's push this. Get back in. There we go. This upcoming, oh, here we go. Switching tracks here. All right, this. A room with a view. 1985. Daniel Day-Lewis, there's the room there. Here's the view. <laughs> Daniel Lewis plays uh, Cecil. Now this one, I don't know how to pronounce. This is Nanu, 1986. Daniel Day-Lewis plays a character named Max. That's about all I know. <laughs> but here's a cool scene from that. Daniel Day-Lewis fans probably recognize this. The next one, Daniel Day-Lewis, 1988, The Unbearable Lightness of Being, right here. Enjoy this. <laughs> and then, Stars and Bars, Daniel Day-Lewis plays Henderson Doris, or Doors, I don't know how to pronounce it, I just looked it up. Same year, 1988. Now this one, this one you should know. This one... Daniel Day-Lewis plays Christy Brown, 1989, My Left Foot. Look at the scene. You should recognize this because that is the first Academy Award he won. Academy Award for Best Actor, My Left Foot, 1989. Same year, this is Ever Smile, New Jersey. I'm not much of a fan of New Jersey, so I did not see this movie. He played Dr. Fergus O'Connell, though. And then here, everyone's seen this movie. The Last of the Mohicans. He played Hawkeye, a.k.a. Dan Nathaniel Poe. 1992 took a little break late 80s took a break jumped in early 90s this one age of innocence he played newlin archer this is 1993 you can see a very similar video to this on ruby 93w's channel he goes through it as well he's using brett's glow spec pack now this one this one is in the name of the father freedom he played he was nominated for an academy award here but he didn't win and then this one, obviously, is The Crucible, in which he played uh, John Proctor. 1996, right here. Upcoming here, this is The Boxer. 
He played Danny Flynn, 1997. You can tell because there's uh, the word boxing up there. This is the ring. This is just a scene. I'm getting out of here. I'm pushing this again. Slow ride. Take it easy. Do do do. There's one of the uh, mushroom cows that was prominently featured in the boxer. <laughs> now, one of my favorite movies right here, 2002, Gangs of New York. Look at this. There's the grocery. There's the money place. He played a butcher. He played Bill the Butcher. He was nominated for an Academy Award. 2002 did not win unfortunately deserved it though really did he lost out to uh, I think Adrian Brody for the pianist this is uh the ballad of Jack and Rose he played Jack in 2005 I guess we're running through this one and then this one another one a great movie there will be blood he played an oilsman he played Daniel Plainview he won once again the Academy Award for best actor so one of my favorite movies 2007 there's a scene from it here I haven't seen this movie. This is this is nine. He played uh, Guido Contini. I think that's how you pronounce it. Guido, right up there. This was in uh, 2009, the movie nine. And now finally, 2012, coming out this year. I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna go see it in the theaters. He plays Lincoln. He plays Abraham Lincoln in the movie Lincoln, Steven Spielberg's Lincoln. I can't wait to see it. And then, uh, what is this? I don't even know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I guess I should check out the original video. Now we're going up and around. Check it out. Daniel Day Lewis. And here is some pixel art of him as we fly by. The uh there's a there's a pixel art photo of him. And uh, you might be wondering why there's a uh, British flag. It's because he holds dual citizenship with uh, with uh, with uh, Britain and Ireland. And uh, coming up, you'll see the the uh, the Irish flag as well. He was born in 1957. Looks like April 23rd. And we get to take in the pixel art as we roll by. His first movie role was in 19... I guess he, his career started in 1970, is what it's saying here. And what, is this, what does this say? I can't even read it. Actor since 1970 is when his career started. And then coming up here, there's a picture of him as a younger man. And then here is a pixel art of him as Lincoln in the movie Abraham Lincoln. I'm super pumped about it. Uh, I really can't wait. This villager is admiring it. I really want to see it. I love Daniel Day-Lewis's performances. He's a method actor. And then uh, coming up here is... A, this is a little travel through his real-life home coming up. And I'll be honest. I don't, I've never seen what his real-life home looks like. Ruby93W mentioned in, in uh, the video that uh, the, the inside is not accurate, of course. Because how could you know what the inside looks like exactly? But the outside is accurate daniel day lewis is home we're going in oh pigs move okay we there we go so this could this is an artist representation of what daniel day lewis's home could look like <laughs> very cool i hope daniel day lewis sees this video and knows that he has some fans out there who really appreciate what he does his acting is just so intense and it just really touches on you know what humanity is all about and what it means to be an actor and what performance is all about and uh so we're wrapping up the daniel day lewis coaster 3000 have a nice day and you guys have a nice day go see some daniel day lewis movies see gangs in new york see there will be blood at least those two and then uh if you want to go back for some some classic go see my left foot and then lincoln's coming out this year very soon see that as well Guys, I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. Hopefully this is a little bit different change of pace for a video. Thank you, Ruby93W, for winning the contest. And I will be announcing new contests shortly on my channel. Don't forget, I'm now playing Resident Evil 6. Go check that out as well. I'm co-oping it with Adam. Hopefully you guys can give me some likes and favorites and anything to help me out on that series. I'll see you next time for more Minecraft. Goodbye.